Welcome back to your weekly one stop for the hits, the stars, and of course, the only worldwide countdown to the official Billboard chart, American Top 40. Hi, I'm Shadow Stevens, ready to go with another great show for you. We'll talk to Tevin Campbell, Big Mountain, and M People this week. We'll be flashing back to the year of Yoda. Remember him? We'll give the 1840 Comparison Corner a big old kiss. And I'll answer a question about the singer with the most number ones on the Billboard dance chart. You got any ideas? We get started this week with the first hit by a Pennsylvania band called Live. Debuting here is Selling the Drama. And to love the God and to fear the flame and to burn crowd that has a name and to right or wrong and to meek or strong it is known to scream from the wall I will I won't I will I don't I know I know I been here out of York, Pennsylvania with their first hit, Live, is their band name, and they debut at number 40 on American Top 40 with Selling the Drama. And at 39, down 5, Ovis.
from his debut album called Schadenfreude. The title has something to do with people, nasty people, getting what they deserve. Ovis is at number 39, his 10th week on AT40 with Regular Thang. Only one hit dropped completely out of the top 40 this week. After an incredible chart run, which included 14 weeks at number one, more than any other song in AT40 history, The Sign by Ace of Base falls out. Got to figure it'll show up somewhat prominently in the year-end top 100, huh? Here's a song by a group that, just like Ace of Base, made a big splash when they started out. They sold 10 million copies of their debut album back in 1976. That was called Boston, just like their name. And they followed that up with Don't Look Back in 78, then their third album, Third Stage, in 86. And now they're out with a fourth album called Walk On. The first single from it is I Need Your Love, and it's at number 38. Top 40 hit of the career of Boston. They slip from 35 to 38. Third week in the survey with I Need Your Love. This is the only official Billboard countdown non-stop to number one American Top 40. Hi, it's Joey Lawrence. Stay tuned for this week's AT40 Music News. Around the world with a shadow. American Top 40. We've just begun our run to number one and at 37, salt and pepper and M. Vogue. Let it get me involved in that he said, she said, cry. 
crowd. I know that ain't nobody perfect. I give props to those who deserve it. And believe me, y'all, it's worth it. So here's to the future, cause we got through the past. I finally found somebody that can make me laugh. <laughs> you so crazy. I think I want to have your day. Girls wrote What a Man. Nope. Producer Herbie Lovebug Azor wrote it for Salt and Pepper and En Vogue. Recent top tenor is now at number 37. This is American Top 40. Count them down for you from Greenland to Guatemala on the world's finest radio stations like El Lobo, Chihuahua, Mexico, Radio Activa, Bucaramanga, Colombia, and 610, Voice of Trinidad and Tobago, West Indies. Climbing up to to number 36, the first chart single for the man called Collage from Philadelphia. Here he is with I'll Be Loving You.
newcomer, Anthony Monteleone. His collage, he's up from 38 to 36 with I'll Be Loving You. Hey, Shadow, this is John Bon Jovi. Give us the week in AT40 Music News. AT40 Music News. There's a blues boom going on in Hollywood. First, the House of Blues, and now here comes B.B. King's Blues Club. The guitar legend opened his first one in Memphis a few years ago, and now he's opening another one right here at Universal Studios. It'll be at the outdoor mall of shops and restaurants called CityWalk. Recently, at a pre-opening celebration, the Universal parking lot was packed with more than a 1,000 invited guests. They were treated to delicious soul food and great music, of course, provided by Mavis Staples, soul man Sam Moore from Sam and Dave, Rufus Thomas was there, Billy Preston, jazz singer Diane Shure, and, of course, the host himself, B.B. King. You ever wonder whatever became of Steve Perry? He was the lead singer of Journey and later a solo artist. Well, Steve did, too. After 10 years of nonstop work, Steve didn't know if he was ever going to sing again. He said, as hard as I would try to pretend it wasn't part of my life, it slowly kept on raising its head saying, oh, yes, it is. So Steve finally went back in the studio, and the result of his work will surface this week in the shape of his new single called You Better Wait. You ever thought you'd like to run a record company? This summer's new music seminar in New York City will get you started. There'll be do-it-yourself workshops, including topics like how to start and operate a label, recording contract basics, press and publicity, retail and distribution, and building a studio. The DIY series sends you home with a starter kit of material of everything you'll need to get going. Truly, a Music Biz 101 dream come true. And the Candle Patrol reports birthdays for these boys and girls. Martin Gore of Depeche Mode is 33. Queen's Roger Taylor is 45. Brian May of Queen. Carlos Santana, Don Henley, and Mick Fleetwood are all 47. Kim Carnes is 48. Mick Jagger is 51. And George Clinton is 54 and still very funky. And that's the birthday boogie this week as we wrap up another edition of... Music News. Here's Nate Dogg and Warren G. Regulate. Regulators. We regulate any stealing of his property. We're damn good, too. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steal, if you know what I mean. Earn your keep. Regulators! Mount up. It was a clear black night, a clear white moon. Warren G was on the streets trying to consume some search for the E so I could get some phones. Rolling in my ride, chilling all alone. Just hit the east side of the LBC on a mission trying to find Mr. Warren G. Seen a car full of girls, ain't no need to tweak. All of you search know what's up with 213. So I hooked a left on 21 and Lewis. Some brothers shooting dice, so I said, let's do this. I jumped out the rock and said, what's up? Some brothers bought some heat, so I said, I'm since these girls peeping me, I'm gonna glide and swerve. These looking so hard, they straight hit the curve. Want to bigger, better things than some horny tricks. I see my homie and some suckers all in his mix. I'm getting jacked, I'm breaking myself. I can't believe they taking Warren's wealth. They took my rings, they took my Rolex. I looked at the brother, said, damn, what's next? They got my homie hemmed up, and they all around. Can't let them see him if they going straight down for power. They want to come up real quick before they start to clown. I best pull out my and lay them busters down. They got guns to my head, I think I'm going down. I can't believe it's happening in my own town. If I had wings, I would fly, let me contemplate. I glance in the cut, and I see my homie Nate. Sixteen in the th- and one in the hole. Nate Dogg is about to make some bodies turn Now they dropping and yelling, it's a tad bit late Nate Dogg and Warren G had to regulate Switching my mind back into freak mode. If you won't skirt, sit back and observe. I just left a gang of over there on the curb. Now they got the freaks, and that's a known fact. Before I got jacked, I was on the same track. Back up, back up, cause it's on N A T E N me, the woman to the G. Just like I thought, they were in the same spot, in need of some desperate head. A Nate Dog and the G Child were in need of something. Else. One of them names was sexy. 
easy as hell. I said, ooh, I like your size. She said, my chords broke down and just sing real nice. Would you let me ride? I got a car full of girls and it's going real swell. The next stop is the east side motel. That's been the Above the Rim soundtrack. Nate Dogg and Warren G. Up 1 to 35 with Regulate. 34 hits to the top. When 1840 continues, Tev talks about face and D in the studio. American Top 40. Glad you could join us. So glad. I'm Shadow Stevens. At number 34, here's Joshua Caddison. Beautiful in my eyes. You're my peace of mind. In this crazy world You're everything I've tried to find Your love is a pearl You're my Mona Lisa You're my rainbow skies And my only prayer is that you realize you'll always be beautiful in my eyes the world will turn and the seasons will change and all the And strange We'll have our fill of tears Our share of sighs My only prayer Is that you realize You'll always be beautiful In The second hit from Joshua Cattison's Painted Desert Serenade album. The follow-up to Jesse is Beautiful In My Eyes, and it's down four to number 34 on American Top 40. At number 33, the latest from Kenny Edmonds, who we all know better as Babyface. He debuted last week at 39. He takes a cool six-notch jump this week. This is When Can I See You. When can my heart beat again? When does the pain never end? 
stuff I'm running over When does you get over it again? I hear what you're saying But I swear that it's not making sense So when can I see you? When can I see you again? When can my heart beat again? When can I see you again? And when can I breathe once again? Babyface has the number 33 song of the week with When Can I See You. Second week on AT40 moves up from 39 to 33. Face wrote the song and produced it with partners Ellie Reed and Daryl Simmons. Next up, I'm Ready, Tevin Campbell's hit at number 32. It was written and produced by Babyface and Daryl Simmons, and Tevin told us about working with one of the hottest producing teams around. Oh, they're great. <laughs> Face and D, I mean, they're very talented, as you know. I mean, they're just incredible. We were going to work together on the first album, but they, it clashed because they were working on the um, I'm Your Baby Night 
the Whitney Houston album. So we promised each other that we'd work together on the second album. And we had a great time. I mean, they're just... <laughs> They're, they're really crazy in the studio, you know. I mean, it's just like being at home, but just singing, you know. It was just really cool. goals is to record 35 albums by the time he's 37. Pretty big goal for 17-year-old Tevin Campbell, but not impossible, I guess. He's at 32 with I'm Ready, title song from his second solo album. Playing that numbers game, I'm Shadow Stevens, and coming up, we'll get kissed at the AT40 Comparison Corner. American Top 40. Heard around the world, this is American Top 40, and the countdown continues with the first hit by a band who got going back in the early 80s and once shared a bill with the Flesh Eaters and the Dead Kennedys. <laughs> Those were the days, huh? Here are the Meat Puppets holding at 31 with Backwater. And when I wake up in the morning To feel the daybreak on my face There's a blood that's flowing through the feeling Life to open up the sky's veins Some things will never change It's 
One of 13 newcomer acts on AT40, the Meat Puppets from Scottsdale, Arizona, at number 31 for a second week with Backwater. Next at number 30 is the first remake we've had on the countdown. That covers a song originally done by the heavy metal supergroup Kiss. Now, Kiss also hit when it slowed it down some, like this Paul Stanley song from 17 years ago. I keep telling you. That hit number 15 back in early 1977, Hard Luck Woman by Kiss. 17 years later, it's a remake and the first pop hit for country music's hottest star, Garth Brooks. From the Kiss tribute album, here's Garth on American Top 40, up to the number 30. If never I met you, I never have seen you cry. If not for the first If never I held you, my feelings would never show. It's time I start walking, but there's so much that you never know. I keep telling you a hard luck woman. You ain't a hard luck woman.
That's Kiss playing the track and country star Garth Brooks doing the singing. Hard Luck Woman was a debut last week at number 32 and is up to number 30 this week. 11 hits down, 29 to go on American Top 40. I'm Shadow Stevens and I'll be right back with more of the hottest hits in the USA. So y'all come back now, huh? Shadow comes down. It's hour two of our weekly hit trip up the Billboard chart. Hi, I'm Shadow Stevens. This is American Top 40. 29 hits to go and coming our way, M people tell us about their first hit. We have a listen to this week's AT40 sneak peek by a hot new band. And we'll also tune up a lot of car Top 40 hits. So let's put the pedal to the metal for number one. Up eight. The new one by Counting Crows. Here's round here. Step out the front door like a ghost into a fog Where no one notices the contrast to white on white And in between the moon and you Angels get a better view of the crumbling Difference between wrong and right well, I walk in the air between the rain Through myself and back again where I don't know Maria says she's dying Through the door I hear her crying Why? I don't know Round here We always stand up straight Round here Something came from Nashville with a suitcase in her hand She says she'd like to meet a boy who looks like Elvis And she walks along the edge of where the ocean meets the land Just like she's walking on a wire in a circus She parks her car outside of my house and takes her clothes off Says she's close to understanding More than just a little misunderstood She has trouble acting normal when she's nervous Right here We're carving out our names Around here We all look the same Around Girl on the car in the parking 
losses, man, you should try to take a shot. Can't you see my walls are crumbling? And she looks up at the building, says she's thinking of jumping. She says she's tired of life. She must be tired of something. Coming up later with their breakthrough hit, Mr. Jones. Counting Crows follow up, climbs 8 to number 29 on 1840. That's round here. The next hit got his start a couple of years ago in a hotel room in London. Richard Marks was at the end of a tour. He told us, I planned to do that song very stripped down and sort of unplugged. But everybody's doing that, so we recorded it with big drums and electric guitars. Richard says the best part was doing background vocals with Luther Vandross and Lionel Richie. He says they had a lot of laughs in the studio. Listen for Luther and Lionel in the song here at number 28 this week on 1840. The Way She Loves Me is Richard Marks.
she loved me Ooh, proud to let it show That's the week's biggest mover. Richard Marks climbs 12 to number 28 with The Way She Loves Me off his album Paid Vacation. Next to 27 on American Top 40, the new group from Manchester, England, M People. They're a trio, and the singer is Heather Small. He told us a little bit about their first hit, Moving On Up. I think the sentiments of the song, being very strong, being very positive, on one level it just seems like it's this female and she's had enough of this male, but on another level I think it's about taking control of any situation. The power is within yourself. And that once there's breath in you, there's always hope. You've done me wrong, your time is up. You took a sip from the devil's cup. You broke my heart, there's no way back. Move right out of here, baby, go back your bed. Just who do you think you are? Stop acting like some kind of star. Just who do you think you are? M people, moving on up, moved up to number 14 about a month ago. Now it's moving on down from 22 to 27. And up next on 1840, a down song that's moving up. <laughs> American Top 40. American Top 40. It's the weekend hits 1840 and moving up to to number 26, Toad the Wet Sprocket and Fall Down.
Back at number 27, we had M people with Moving On Up, but they were moving on down. And we just heard Toe the Wet Sprocket, who are moving on up to number 26 with Fall Down. Next on 1840, I'll Take You, their general public's remake of the number one hit by the family act called the Staple Singers. Well, it turns out that the leader of the Staple Singers, good old Pop Staples, has a new solo album coming out next month called Father, Father. Pops is now 78 years old, by the way. At number 25, general public, and I'll take you there.
General Public have one of four remakes this week. They're down one to 25 with I'll Take You There. Hi, it's Celine Dion, and you're listening to the biggest countdown in all the world, American Top 40 with Shadow Stevens. American Top 40. American Top 40. Every week, AT40 brings you the pop world, no matter where you are in the world. How do our friends tune in to JOFU-FM, Hokkaido, Japan, 7TT-FM, Hobart, Australia, and at Armed Forces bases in all the ships at sea. Celine Dion's latest is down one at number 24 this week. This is misled. Celine Dion. She's down one at number 24 with Miss Lead. It's from the Color of My Love album that sold over 3 million copies. Shadow Stevens and Nick's on American Top 40. Only the seventh Top 40 hit in rock history with the word car or cars in the title. In the 70s, we had Working at the Car Wash Blues and Just Plain Old Car Wash. In the 80s, we had Cars, Get Out of My Dreams, Get Into My Car, and Fast Car. And I know what you're thinking, Drive My Car by The Beatles. Well, it didn't make the top 40 in the 60s. It wasn't released as a single, but it was remade in the Stars on 45 medley that hit number one back in 1981. Well, here's the 90s' first car song. I know you've been waiting for it. At number 23, here's Roxette and Sleeping in My Car. Try to hold on 
third week on for Roxette, Sleeping in My Car. Perrin Marie shift in high gear and rev up forward to number 23. You've got the shadow on American Top 40 and another non-stop climb up the Billboard chart. At number 22 this week, the latest from Michael Bolton. Here's some slamming soul rock. Michael style, here's Ain't Got Nothing If You Ain't Got Love. Songs by Solo Men this week on American Top 40. Michael Bolton's up four. Number 22 with Ain't Got Nothing If You Ain't Got Love. Coming up, this week's Sneak Peek. American Top 40. You've got that hit spot on your radio for the latest hit music by your favorite stars. American Top 40. I'm Shadow Stevens. Thanks for joining us. We're up to number 21. And this is Melissa Etheridge. Come to my window. I would dial the numbers just to listen to your breath. 
And I would stand inside my hell and hold the hand of death You don't know how far I'd go to ease this precious ache And you don't know how much I'd be or how much I can take Just to reach you Not over till it's over, and that one by Melissa Etheridge is far from over. Just when you thought it peaked on the chart, it moves back up. It's done that three times already at numbers 27, 25, and 22. And now Melissa Etheridge is up four to number 21 with Come to My Window. I'm Shadow Stevens, and it's time to unlock and unlatch the vault of wonder and find out what lies behind in this week's. <laughs> A three-man band from Berkeley, California called Green Day. Give a listen to Longview.
good one. Guitar Player Magazine calls them three disaffected young men possessed of a howling energy. <laughs> no kidding. That's true. That's the Berkeley, California trio known as Green Day. The song is Longview. They're new to radio, and that's why their song's our pick as this week's... Let me see you go back. Let me twist the elbow. Let me see you come in. Now let me see you go back. Let me twist the elbow. Let me see you come in. Uh, let me see you go back. Her first hit just became her first gold single. Teenage Aaliyah, down one to number 20 with Back and Forth. Two hours down and two to go on American Top 40. I'm Shadow Stevens, and with the 20 biggest hits in the USA still to come, here's what's in store. A store. That's right, a store. Belongs to a very famous star. Plus, we'll have a visit from Big Mountain, and I'll read this week's long-distance dedication. So you stick around now, huh? third hour of Hit Power with just 19 songs to go on 1840. I'm Shadow Stevens and in this hour a former Prince goes retail. We'll talk to the reggae band Big Mountain 
And I'll also be reading this week's long distance dedication. Right now, I'd like to welcome these new stations to AT40's international family in Iceland. It's Ice Radio, Reykjavik. And more friends in Mexico listening on Radio Colima, Colima. It's great to have you along as we go on. Down five, Enigma. He reached number six with that one. Now Enigma takes return to innocence down from 14 to 19. But climbing from 21 to 18, the first hit off the new album by Seal. The producer is Trevor Horn. He's worked with ABC, Yes, and other acts. And he also produced Seal's last album. Here's Prayer for the Dying.
Last time out in 1991, he hit number seven with Crazy. Great song by Seal. Up three to number 18 with Prayer for the Dying. It's American Top 40. I'm Shadow Stevens. More than a thousand fans were lined up in London to see this next singer. And whoomp, there he was, cutting the ribbon to open Europe's first new power generation store. The man formerly known as Prince, as we call it now, has also opened an NPG store in Minneapolis. The London branch is huge, two stories with a coffee shop that seats 30, and the rest of it is a virtual Prince department store. T-shirts, posters, jewelry, glassware, candles, perfumes. There's also a time capsule of his personal memorabilia buried in the basement. Maybe they'll open that when he changes his name back to Prince. We can only wait. On 1840, his recent top five hit is at number 17.
by one from the sky. I know Mars could not be uh, too far behind. Cause baby, this kind of beauty has got no reason to ever be shy. Cause honey, this kind of beauty, the kind that comes from inside. Could you be? Could you be? been a busy guy lately, played all over L.A., a House of Blues show and two shows at his club downtown Glam Slam. The once and former and maybe future prince with the most beautiful girl in the world slipping five to number 17. There's nothing like the excitement of hitting number one, and when AT40 comes back, we'll talk to a band who recently hit number one around the world with their first top 40 hit. American Top 40 American Bringing the world the best in hit music from the USA, you've got American Top 40 with The Shadow. Going out to great radio stations like Qatar Broadcasting Service, Doha, Qatar. And Radio Viborg, Viborg, Denmark. Up one to number 16 this week is Jen Blossom.
They got started seven years ago in Tempe, Arizona. Another overnight success. Huh? Gin Blossoms move up one to number 16 with their latest hit, Until I Fall Away. Nothing can match the excitement, the thrill of hitting number one. At least that's what I've been told. They've never had a number one record, but the band at number 15 has. And they went to number one with their first top 40 hit in the USA and also top charts around the world with their version of the Peter Frampton song, Baby, I Love Your Way. We talked to band leader Kino of Big Mountain. You know, it's a little hectic, to tell you the truth. But for the most part, it's very gratifying. It's very exciting, you know. It's a little scary, but uh, one thing we're trying to concentrate on is just taking everything in, you know, and just sort of... Uh, cherishing the moment and uh but just really just keeping our heads level i mean that's fortunately we have a, an organization that uh takes care of a lot of things for us so the musicians just get to kind of concentrate on what we have to do which is music shadows go so long before my eyes and they're moving across the
amazing how much reggae influence we hear these days in top 40 music. I think Bob Marley's smiling somewhere up in the great beyond. Just this week, there's Ace of Bass, General Public, and a number 15, Down 6, Big Mountain, Baby I Love Your Way. Greetings, my people. This is Kino from Big Mountain, and your radio's tuned to Hit Mountain, American Top 40. Night or day, we're wild for hits here on AT40, and this one's the first off John Mellencamp's new album, Dance Naked. Up one to number 14, John and Michelle and Degia Cello with Wild Night. As you brush your shoes, you stand before your mirror, and you comb your hair, grab your coat and hat, and you walk the streets, trying to remember John Mellencamp and Michelle and Degiocello. Wild Night, up from 15 to 14, sixth week on AT40. And it's seven weeks running for this Top 40 comeback by the English two-man tune tag team <laughs> of Andy Bell and Vince Clark. They're Erasure at number 13, with Always. Open your eyes, I see. Your eyes are open. Where no disguise. To the open when it's cold outside, am I here in vain? Hold on to the night, there will be no shame. 
Five songs by British acts this week. Erasure are from London. They've been together since 1985. They climbed five from 18 to 13 with Always. When 1840 continues this week's long distance dedication about a violent reality that's affecting teenagers around the world. We'll be right back. American Top 40. The shadow with you to the top on 1840. If you become fans of these guys, you might want to check out a. CD called DGC Rarities Volume 1 features a non album track by Counting Crows. They're here at number 12.
Counting Crows and Mr. Jones down two to number 12. By the way, the title of that non-album track on the CD called DGC Rarities is Einstein on the Beach, subtitled For an Eggman. If you know what that means, will you write me? I'm Shadow Stevens, and we're roaring up the chart on 1840 with this song off the Lion King soundtrack. Get it? Actually, two versions there, and this one runs over the movie's credits and is sung by Elton John. At number 11, Can You Feel the Love Tonight? There's a calm surrender to the rush of day When the heat of a rolling wind can't be turned away An enchanted moment and it sees me through It's enough for this restless warrior just to be and can you feel the love tonight? It is where we are. It's enough for this wild. King, 
Looking like the movie box office king this summer. Elton John's song from the Disney movie climbs five to number 11, looking top 10 bound. Can you feel the love tonight? Heard around the world, it's American Top 40. And now after our long-distance dedication, this week it's a sad and very unfortunate one. It comes from a young woman in Newfoundland who writes Dear Shadow. One day last month, I rushed home from school because I was scheduled to babysit. The day was going great until the phone rang. It was my friend Dana with the news that one of my best friends, Stephen Pike, was dead. Steve had died from an accidental gunshot wound. I screamed with fright and suddenly broke down crying. Steve was only 18 years old, and he left many friends who loved him deeply. He was my best friend. I loved him so much. Like all of us, Steve had some problems, but nothing too serious. He lived life freely and made the most out of every day. Two days later, we had a memorial service at school. One thousand teens came out to grieve with his family, who was present. It was very hard seeing pictures of him and some of his favorite objects displayed around the school gym. I cried the whole time. That night I went to the funeral home, but I could not see him because his face was destroyed in the shooting. At that moment, I realized I would never see my friend again. The next Saturday, it tore my heart out to see Steve being buried. I'm writing to you because Steve's death could have been prevented, and all the pain and anguish could have been avoided. You see, Steve thought that the safety pin was on the loaded gun he'd begun to play around with. What he didn't know was that it was broken, and as a result, we lost the most wonderful friend in the world. People aren't just kidding around when they tell us that guns are not toys. I lost my best friend because he played with a gun. But maybe he can be an example for the rest of the world. Shadow, I would like it if you would play his favorite song, November Rain. He may no longer be living on earth, but he'll always live in my heart. Yours sincerely, signed Sherry Layden, Victoria, Newfoundland. When I look into your eyes, I can see your love restrained.
A softer sounding Guns N' Roses took November Rain to number 12 two years ago. And this week, Sherry Layden from Victoria, Newfoundland is dedicating it to her friend Steve, who is a victim of what he thought was innocent gunplay. I'm Shadow Stevens, and we're heading into the top 10 on American Top 40 on our way to the week's number one song, and we'll also take an 1840 flashback. We'll answer a question about dance number ones. Who do you think has had the most? Place your bets, make your guesses, I'll tell you right after this. American Top 40. And it's Top 10 time on American Top 40 as we head into our final hour for the week. You can also expect an AT40 flashback to the year of No Pain, No Gain Jane. A look at the artists with the most number ones on the dance chart, plus a new record is set at number one, all as we take this thing to the top. Count it down. Up three to score their eighth top ten, Aerosmith and Crazy. Come here, baby. You know you drive me up a wall, the way you make good for the nasty tricks you pull. Seems like we're making up more than we're making love. And it always seems you got something on your mind other than me. Girl, you got to change your crazy ways. You hear me? Say you're leaving on a 7.30 train and that you're heading out to... Many times it kind of gets like feeling bad Looks good
their second top ten are off their album Get a Grip. The other was their last top ten hit, Amazing. Aerosmith take crazy up from 13 to number 10 this week. Shadow Stevens, AT40. A few weeks ago, we mentioned how Nine Stories, Lisa Loeb's backup group, came up with their name from a book by J.D. Salinger. Well, another book group is here. They got their name from The Fountainhead by Ayn Rand. The main character refers to mankind as a collective soul. Ed Roland of the band says, That struck me as being very correct. We are a collective soul. And they're here at number nine with their first hit, Shine. time in the top 10 for Collective Soul and their first hit, Shine, climbing from 11 to number 9. 
It was the year the Empire struck back. An 1840 flashback coming up. American Top 40. American Top 40. Only the hottest hits and music's top stars in 1840. Holding a number eight, the latest from John Cicada. He wrote it and co-produced it. It's called If You Go. Voice on him, John Cicada. If you go, spends his second week in a row at number eight. Fifth top 40 hit for John. Hi, Shadow. I'm Marie from Roxette. How about a joyride through time? An 8040 flashback. We'd like to go on a joyride with you, and we'll just drop in the coin right here. And, and off we go, surfing the cresting waves of yesterday till we shoot the tube and then wipe out on the golden sandy beach of another 8040 flashback. And the sonic spray clears a way to reveal the year former actor Ronald Reagan challenged incumbent Jimmy Carter for the presidency and won. FBI agents posing as Arab businessmen implicated government officials in the bribery scandal that became to be known as Abscam. Fitness workout books and videos were all the rage as Jane Fonda led the way to go for the burn. At the movies, Luke Skywalker met Yoda in The Empire Strikes Back, while on TV, we were glued to M.A.S.H. and that exciting and new series, The Love Boat. So come aboard. We're expecting you in this 1840 flashback to 1980. Honey.
chart this week 14 years ago at number five shining star by the manhattans at number four the medley of cupid i've loved you for a long time by the spinners number three little genie by elton john at number two coming up live at glasgow by paul mccartney and wings and number one this week in 1980 billy joel's it's still rock and roll to me and that's an 1840 flashback and now Engaging the transwarp inducers, we tweak the frammer stammer a full gift, thrusting us forward into tomorrow in the moment we call. Hey. 
Another of six songs in the top ten this week that hold their spot. Second week at number seven on AT40 for Janet Jackson, the song she took to number one R&B, Anytime, Anyplace. A couple of listeners in Singapore wonder who's had the most number one dance hits. Well, she's here on AT40 this week, and she's coming right up. American Top 40, please hold. American Top 40. The shadow with you to the number one song of the week. It's three weeks at number six for this fourth and latest release from her album Music Box, which has now sold 14 million worldwide. Mariah Carey, and anytime you need a friend. If you're lonely, I need a friend. And trouble seem like they never end. Just remember to keep the faith. And love will be there. Mom taught opera singers. It's no wonder Mariah Carey has such a range herself. That's her latest Anytime You Need a Friend, holding at number six again. With all the Billboard chart stuff for the musically buff, it's American Top 40. Here's a letter from two friends, listeners in Singapore. They count down with AT40 on the perfect 10. And together they write, Dear Shadow, you give us the number one dance song every week. Who's had the most number one dance songs? Well, Roz Lazam and Naza if that's how you pronounce your names, for about 10 years, Donna Summer had the most number ones with eight. Hey, she was the disco queen, right? But then in 1989, another singer who's been racking up dance number ones in the 80s scored her ninth with Express Yourself in 
she took over the lead. She's been adding to her total ever since with six more number one dance hits in the 90s. Her last was Fever in May of last year. That's 15 number one dance hits, more than anyone else for Madonna. So, Raza Zam and Naza, thanks for the letters. Madonna's latest hit is a ballad, and it's a number five on AT40. It's called I'll Remember. Weeks ago, she was dancing up a storm at the Roxy in New York at a Disco Inferno Night AIDS benefit with performances by Vicky Sue Robinson, Casey, and the Sunshine Band, and lots of scantily clad men, apparently. No wonder Madonna was there. She slips one to number five in AT40 with How Remember. Hi, this is KC from Casey and the Sunshine Band. Stick around, because there's a lot more great stuff coming up on American Top 40. American Top 40. This is the radio show heard around the world in more than 125 countries. American Top 40. I'm Shadow Stevens. I'm very proud to say that this next week I'll be visiting our friends in South Africa. My family and I are really looking forward to it. It's going to be a great time. We'll be in Johannesburg, Durban, and Cape Town and the big game reserve. I'll be calling back home to my special guest host, Joe Cipriano. He's a great guy. I think you'll have a good time with him. Back in the countdown at number four this week. Here's Tony Braxton. 
and you mean the world to me. You could give me one good reason why I should believe you. Even all the things that you tell me, I would sure like to believe you. My heart wants to believe you. Just make me know that. She had reached number four, spent a couple of weeks at number five, and now Tony Braxton is back up to number four with You Mean the World to Me, the third top 40 hit off her first solo album called Tony Braxton. They call me the shadow, the apostrophe, S-H-A-D-O-E. Let's keep it going at American Top 40 with this group headed up by 25-year-old Lisa Loeb, originally from Dallas, living in New York City now. Lisa and Nine Stories hold at number three with Stay. You say So all the time So
Pretty little song, isn't it? Stay. Lisa Loeb and Nine Stories does stay at number three for a second week. Hi, this is Delius. And Alfred from All For One. And this is the all-hit countdown, American Top 40. So keep that radio right where it is. American Top 40. Just two from the top on AT40, holding at number two, All For One. By the moon and the stars in the skies And I swear Like the shadow that's by your side I see the questions in your eyes I know what's weighing on your mind you can be sure I know my part cause I stand beside you through the years you'll only cry those happy tears and though I make mistakes I'll never break
spent six weeks at number one. Now it's two weeks at number two for All for One. And I swear, bringing us to the top on American Top 40. I'm Shadow Stevens. Before we hear the number one song, here's a look at the tops of Billboard's other hit charts. Number one adult contemporary is Can You Feel the Love Tonight by Elton John. Number one country, Foolish Pride by Travis Tritt. Number one dance is When You Made the Mountain by Opus 3. Number one R&B is the two-sided hit single Anytime, Anyplace, and On and On by Janet Jackson. The number one album, the soundtrack to The Lion King. It all brings us back to number one on AT40. And this group now moves into second place for the most weeks in a row in the top ten in rock history. First place is held down by Elvis Presley. He spent 53 weeks in the top ten with different hits. And now this group makes it 40 weeks. And they're still at number one this week. For a second week in a row, the number one song in the USA belongs to Ace of Bass. Here's Don't Turn Around.
The number one song for two weeks running and the third number one in a row for Ace of Bass. That's Don't Turn Around. American Top 40! And there they are, the 40 most popular records in America, straight from the official Billboard chart. American Top 40 is produced in Hollywood by Radio Express. 8040 is produced by Bruce Goldberg with the mighty Morphin Power Rangers of radio themselves, the Whiplash Acrobatic Ensemble. Matt Wilson, Daryl Morton, Dana Schwarzwalder, Ann Beebe, Dr. Robert Abacus Durkee, Dave Burgess, Ken Helford, Brendan Diamore, Donald O'Connor, Jody Augustine, Mike Williams, Sherry Carter, and Dan the Man Warren. American Top 40 has been brought to you by Lipton Original. It ain't no sippin' tea. 8040 was created by Casey Case and Don Bastani in conjunction with Tom Rounds and ABC Watermark. Our mailing address is Post Office Box 2000, Hollywood, California, zip 90028. I'm Shadow Stevens. Catch me on television every Monday night on Dave's World, Monday nights on CBS. And join me next week right here in the hit world of American Top 40 for Billboard's Top Songs on the Radio. So until we meet again, this is your friend in the void, The Shadow. Bye-bye out there. <laughs>